Hey everybody, Jay Super Awesome here. I'd like to welcome you all to week number 48 of the Horror Man Slashback Saturday Challenge. This week's slasher movie theme is Food Slashers, and I will be giving my review for Blood Freak. Okay, so getting into the plot for this one. For those who think they have seen everything comes Blood Freak, a rampaging turkey monster on a marijuana high. Finding himself sandwiched between Bible-thumping good girl Angel and her bad girl sister Anne, a muscle-bound biker named Herschel falls under Anne's seductive spell when she offers him some weed. Quickly becoming a raving, spastic addict, I have a feeling I'm hooked. The big glute then gets a job at a turkey farm where he's fed meat treated with an experimental drug and, like any junkie who eats tainted turkey meat, turns into a man with a giant turkey head. Yes, a man with a giant turkey head, who also gobbles like a big dumb bird. Still hungry for a fix, Herschel, the turkey man, proceeds to attack fellow drug addicts, whose blood he drinks with his pointy little turkey beak. In one magical moment, he even buzzsaws the leg off of a pusher who holds his stump and howls for what seems like days, all of which is punctuated by philosophical pondering by co-director Brad Grinter, before two podheads with a machete decide to go on their version of a turkey shoot. Wow, a monster movie quite unlike any other. Blood Freak is a jaw-dropping, almost legendary milestone in crackpot filmmaking and the ultimate cinematic turkey gobble gobble okay so getting into my thoughts for this one with this week's slashback challenge theme of food slashers i chose to review blood freak because i had never seen it before and because the killer in this movie eats a turkey that has been experimented on and the results of that is that he ends up with a giant turkey head. He develops a craving for blood, and it's only the blood of fellow drug addicts that can satisfy his thirst. Now, something that I wanted to point out is that in the plot description for this movie, they consider this to be a monster movie, but in my opinion, this is definitely a slasher film. In fact, the look of the killer in this movie reminds me a lot of the killer in the 1987 version of Stage Fright. And basically that's because we have two killers that have giant bird heads. But I do understand that sometimes certain subgenres of horror can closely relate with each other, especially how some of the storylines unfold. But I definitely consider this to be a slasher film because the killer in this movie is killing his victims using various different tools and even sometimes with his bare hands. So overall, I thought this was a pretty strange film. It was released in 1972, and I didn't really feel like it was shot and filmed all that well. The opening sequence are scenes that take place out on the highway. These scenes, the camera is really shaky, and I was really worried that the rest of the movie was going to look like that, but they really do clean that up. Some of the nighttime scenes are a little bit dark, but for the most part, I was able to see what was going on. So that's kind of a minor nitpick. So I really did enjoy this movie's wacky and crazy storyline. I found it to be very creative and very interesting. Even though I know this movie's not going to be for everybody, I did enjoy it in a so bad it's good kind of way. And there's no way I can sit here and tell you that this is a good movie because this is a pretty bad movie, but... I did enjoy it in a so bad it's good kind of way. Something that I thought was really cool about this movie is that even though I don't recall them mentioning anything about Thanksgiving, we do have several scenes that take place on a turkey farm. We have a turkey that is prepared for our main character. This turkey has been experimented on. It has been drugged with various experimental drugs. We have our main character who is a drug addict and he eats the turkey, and he ends up with a giant turkey head. So even though I don't recall anything mentioned about Thanksgiving, this definitely has a Thanksgiving-style vibe to it. 
The thing I really didn't like about this movie is it sort of has a narrator type character. He introduces us to the movie and it cuts back to him several times throughout the film. This movie's storyline has to do with drug dealers and drug addicts and he has given us his perspective and he gets a little far out there and he comes off as being very preachy in my opinion and I just didn't really care. I just wanted to see more of the turkey headed guy killing people okay so now i'm going to talk about the cast of characters we have in blood freak so i had just mentioned the narrator type character i didn't care for that at all in this movie our main character of this story is herschel he is a former war vet and i believe he was hooked on pain medications after coming back from the war but at the start of the film he is clean but he does eventually get hooked back onto drugs and this time it will have fatal consequences. He first meets Angel, who ironically enough is a religious type person, the good girl type character. She introduces Herschel to her sister Anne, who is basically her complete opposite. She ends up getting Herschel hooked back onto drugs, so she's definitely not a good influence for him. Rounding out the cast of characters for this movie is either drug dealers or drug users. We also have the owner of the turkey farm, a couple of scientists that are doing their radical experiments on the turkeys, and later on in the movie we get a few throwaway characters, but once again are people who are doing drugs and are pretty much victims for this movie storyline. Overall, I don't really feel like the acting was all that great in this movie, even though I didn't mind it, but I thought I would at least mention it. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the most important part of a slasher movie, that is the killer and the kills. And I really like the killer within this movie. I really like the giant turkey head. I thought it was really cool looking. Unfortunately, it does take us a long time to get to this point of the movie, so that's a little bit of a bummer. But overall, I did really like the look of the killer, and I thought it worked perfectly for this movie storyline. And as far as the kills go within this movie... It's not a high body count type of movie, but it does have a few pretty decent kills. One of them being what appears to be a ice pick to a woman's neck who is hanging upside down. The blood is flowing from her wound. So the killer drenches his hands in her blood and rubs it on his beak. So that's pretty cool. We get a super quick strangulation and another guy gets his leg cut off. So there's quite a bit of blood but overall, just not really that many kills. This is not really a slasher movie I'm going to be able to recommend, even though I did enjoy it in a so bad it's kind of good way. I do feel like this movie has an incredibly unique killer, but other than that, the movie's not that good. I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 10. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if you have seen Blood Freak, or just let me know what you think about my review. And I would like to thank you all for watching.